Hi everybody, good afternoon. This uh, track is doing, uh, if you remember, the hack tea, what I call that thing, uh, hack tea something, uh, uh, pass the code is part of the hacktivist, uh, if you remember this logo, uh, the, this one, the hack, uh, hacked finity, uh, bottles TF event, they release uh, three, uh, in, in Friday, I think they might release all of them each time or something. The, they said we may have found a way to break into dark, uh, dark inject blockchain, exploiting a vulnerability their system. This might be our only chance to stop them for good. No, the start the tag. Okay, we start the machine. They give us, of course, the the machine IP, and they give you this is a normal uh, to connect to our instance, so you can get the variables all of them. Of course, we have the IP machine, so if we go to the IP machine, we can use this, so they give us the contract. Of course, you click it, get the flag, of course, we don't have the flag. Uh, reset the challenge, and then, uh, so if I go, for example, uh, I'm just putting this in case I forget, uh, I was playing with it now, let me clear the screen. So basically, they give us all this command to add, so we can just add all of them so to make to start our lab so basically this is how you define the keys and all of that so we can have everything is working so and then echo uh, echo check if solved now check if solved equal false so we still don't have the flag so the the, the key here is to get is solver to true so if you look in the code here so first of all we have the flag we're looking for uh, the flag it, it will get the flag if unlock flag is true. Where is unlock? Uh, 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 basically, here is solved. It unlock flag is true. When unflag flag is true, we get uh, 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 return secret if it's uh, true. Now uh, return uh, if it's solved, it return this true, and we get the flag. So we need now to make it is solved. Where is uh, first of all? Let's see what to happen. Uh, this is the initialization. Uh, the unlock flag is false. So where is the unlock flag? There is a hint function here. There is the unlock. Uh, unlock return true if you give it uh, the input equal code. So we don't have the code. We need looking for the code. Um, if we get the code correctly unlock become true and then uh, and if unlock it true the unsolved return uh, return unlock would mean to return true so unsolve uh, if we get the correct code uh, unlock will be true and here it will be return the unlock uh, imp uh, value which means true is solve is true and then the flag will become true and we get the secret now what's this no this one just uh, the contractor so we have a function is already set to us a hint so the first thing we can do let's call the hint function uh, let's if you call it, uh, you use this command to call it. So that's how the command work in, uh, in contract. So cast call contract address. We already have this variable here. Uh, we got all the variables set, and we call in the hit function with the string and see what it gives us. It said the code is thirty three three three. So we know the code. So now we have the code. So we need to call the unlock. Uh, you need 2556 uh, and we just give it the code to it so now to do that so basically we do another send you need to do legacy if you don't do legacy it will not work because it's not like I think it's not the latest version so we can cut remember here we got the hint we got the code is 33 so we call the unlock uh, hint, fa hint function with uh, the code 33 and let's call it and we got results so we could so we can just call again so let's not waste uh, is solved uh, variable let's see now it's a uh, now we called it let's echo it like uh, try hack me to us uh, let's echo and it's true 
So now if you click here and get the flag, you get the flag. I'm not showing the flag because uh, you're not allowed to show the flag. So basically this one is straightforward, it's easy. So uh, you can see it from the code. It was initialized and lock. It was uh, false. We have a private code. We now get the flood only work if um, um, require uh, uh, unlock to to be true. And then uh, is solved. It's only it's uh, solved or ten uh, true if it's the unlock is flag is true. And unlock only come true if we get the code if the input is the is the code and we got the code because we just give it here 33 three because we call the function uh, hint and we get uh, we got the code uh, which is 33 this is a uh, it's not like uh, that's how you the this is the function how you interact with the smart uh, contract so guys this is the for uh, pass the code uh, one, uh, this is a uh, straightforward. Uh, so I think uh, this. I don't think there is something else we can talk about it here. So this is part of tryhack me. So you just need to understand which function is talking to each one, and yeah, and then and and then you got it uh, as it is. Thank you guys very much. I hope you like it and have a good day.